and um, as organized as I am, I'm utterly failing at building an extension to my house. Um, admittedly, this is going to be very tough to do, so, uh, um, come on. Looks like I might just have enough wood to do this. Um, let me just pull out some cobblestone so I can actually uh, get at this extension. Oh shit, I really need to. And there we go. Made a successful extension to the house. Couldn't even tell what was there. So I'm separating this up into neat and organized rooms. Um, let me just try to lay some of this tall grass. It's a lot of it. Oh, black seed. Nice. Okay. So, um, let me just check my brightness settings real quick. Yeah, that's all cool. Um, right. So now that I've got that in place, um, th uh, um let me just, um, well, let's place these rubies back. I don't know why I'm patting mouse in the first place. Okay, so, um, I think, let me just make, uh, let me just make myself, um, I'll just add a couple more wood, and then I'm gonna do a couple of things, and then be prepared to work on something which, uh, which you know, get I guess is good in this series. So let me just punch this one real quick. Come on. Um, notice I have to be starving a bit. I never pay attention to my hunger bar. I don't know why I. Never pay attention, but oh well. It's just what happens. It's just what happens. Okay, so let me just obtain a bit more wood. Um, and I'll make myself a couple of tools, which I'm going to be really needing right now. Right now, oh, sapling. Um, admittedly, that tree was in a bad spot. Um, I'll move this tree there. Okay, back to adventure. So, um, I'm gonna make myself a couple of tools because why not? Um, okay, so make myself a bunch of sticks, pull myself out. Yeah, why not? Just separate the rubies, because each one's special. And ruby axe, ruby hoe. Brilliant. Okay, um, I'll have my axe on standby. Now, I need to make myself a nice and effective farm. So, we just nab some more of these arrows which are just lying around and these bones make a ton of these bones brilliant okay so um as a bit of a matter of importance may as well you know may as well make myself a couple of buckets because most likely I will be needing these so I'll love myself some uh, buckets. Um, God damn it. I can put the arrows away. Why not? Okay. So let me just fetch some water from the river over here. Bit of a long river, this one. Okay, there. Now, time for me to set up a farm. Because, I mean, you know, first of all, I've identified a bit of a problem that, well, I'm just all, almost always hungry. So, I think this is a nice spot to begin farming. 
feel a bit careful about this one. I'll have to think about it. Okay, I'm back. I've decided what I'm going to be doing. So, um, ooh, it's all, it's already night time. Damn it. Um, I do have a good idea of what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's compact, but it's very effective. Trust me when I say that. Um, it can be something which some, uh, which even applies to vanilla Minecraft. Just so you know. Um, let me just plow down this block and let me just till all this ground around here. Uh, there's two area. I want to go even bigger. Of course, I can extend this like however much I want with this system. This will be good for now, I believe. I'll have it like that for now. Um, I'll expand on this setup in the future and even get down to some more awesome stuff in the future as well. This is just some basic fun which I'm going to get done. So, just plant, break, uh, bone meal, break. And continue exponentially until you get tons of potatoes. Because bone meal, it's most powerful th uh, thing in the world. Nope, don't eat it. Don't eat potatoes. Clap them. Of course, that's what I like about uh, about certain things which are its own seeds. Before you say that Minecraft is inaccurate about this, let me just tell you, this is the most realistic that you're ever going to get in, uh, in Minecraft. Because, well, first of all, this is roughly how you grow potatoes. I'm no expert, but potatoes, potato plants grow from themselves. I'm not even joking when I say that. I'm just get a ton of potatoes. So already, from like one potato to 63 of them. How mad is that? It should be good enough to cover this entire area if I... No, don't eat it! There, brilliant! How about a... Uh, talk about a nice farm. And I could extend this even further, but uh, seriously, when I pan when I plant about forty eight of them, approximately, yeah, forty eight, because this is a seven by seven minus one, so forty eight potato plants. And you got that insane amount. You don't want to continue <laughs> until you want like I don't know until you want like eighty one potato plants. Which is just insane. I'm just going to keep with 48, not 80. So, now I got a good potato farm going. Um, may as well start on different, uh, may as well start on the flax farm, if anything. So, where's my shovel? Well, I should make a ruby shovel, uh, shovel as well. Just going to keep on going until, uh, until I have all the ruby tools. And it ain't gonna be too long because I've just made shovel, sickle, pencil, and that's really it. Ow. And my shovel just broke. Brilliant. Already I have a new shovel. So I have the power of a shovel right here, even a stone one. Just plow through. But I think if I know anything about digging. I'm gonna make myself a diamond one. I know, I know, I'm making something out of diamond. I don't generally do that. I'm gonna make a diamond shovel. 
I don't know why I feel like making a diamond shovel. Wait, you know what? Since I'm doing this, I may as well get another thing. Diamond pick, diamond, uh, uh, diamond shovel. Brilliant. Of course, with a diamond shovel, I can dig to my heart's content. So I want to just find where I start from. This just plows through right here like a boss. Don't need to give two fucks about what I'm doing. Admittedly, I shouldn't get too carried away when I'm doing this. So let's see now. So. I know anything that seems about right for another farm. Let me just swap out buckets real quick. So. Get on the way, Father. And look at that! Perfect 7x7. Seven seven. Therefore, I'd see the day. This is some uh, this is some massive tilling action going on here. Oh god. <laughs> Way to go, T-Man! Forget to place in the water. And a similar principle with the uh, flax seeds. But the thing is that a farm this size is nowhere near necessary. Like, seriously. Like, I mean, the amount of stuff, like, okay, first of all, just so you know, fl uh, the flax, in case you don't play enough of the good games, I don't know what I'm talking about, is a plant which produces string. So, if, you know, I play my cards right, I'll get a massive string farm as well. I mean, of course, there are alternatives of string farming in this pack, um, namely the Hennequin farm. Hennequin plants were introduced in Zycraft, but I'm going to use Flax, which is part of Red Power. It's much more effective of uh, it's much more of an effective farming means than flat uh, than Hennequin. And well, if you've got a farm this size, you know you're never going to have to worry about keeping up with your farming supplies. I already ha I almost already have enough to grow an entire flat uh, flax farm. Like seriously. But, in the future, I will be needing uh, more flax seeds. Like, not just for farming. This, uh, this stuff is useful for other means. And to there. Now, O'Neill, break, get more string. And the fact that the string went into my hand means that I already have more than a 64 stack of string. <laughs> And all from just using a bit of bone meal. Let's look at it. It's almost complete. The 7x7 flax farm. Of course, I will do some other things regarding this as well, including, um, like, putting down some fences so that no trouble-making mobs get, uh, get here. Like, seriously, I need to keep these farms under control. So, actually, as a matter of fact, since I got so much of this stuff, I'm gonna make uh, uh, I'm gonna make another mod item. Um, for any uh, for any of you who who are in the know, will know what I'm making right now, and it is very very handy. Da da, canvas. But why canvas? Well, if I arrange it like a chest, but um. A canvas bag. We, oui. I can use this to store uh, to store any amount of uh, of tools which I need to store. So if I store all my excess tools in here, 
vault that at who thought I was just kidding around when I had that on me. Oh, ugh, got a poisonous potato. Nasty. I'm not sure what I would be wanting to do with that. 